Hello friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today I would like to talk about the most recent update that I'm sure you guys have all seen. You guys are probably all talking about heroic rewards. Now today we did receive a post that went over this most recent update. It is the 411 2018 content update post. It went through and said that the raid reward rebalanced and it kind of talked about what was going to happen and, and how it was going to be played out. Really what I'd like to do is focus my my thoughts and my 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 time on the sith triumvirate raid reward or just the raid reward changes in general because that has been just the most uh hotly debated topic uh that i've that i've seen today on the forums today on man and people have gone bat nuts crazy now to the meat and potatoes the the crux of this whole thing the raid reward rebalance now as it was mentioned on the 2nd of april we were getting the flattening of the raid rewards top ranking players particularly in heroic may see lower drop rates of fully crafted gear and pieces for some ranks and lower aggregated numbers of direct salvage gear um, gear drops. So this has been offset by several factors. Their idea was they'll increase the quality of the completed pieces. So you'll get the best of the completed pieces and the best of the salvage drops. So they took out the challenge gear, which was a huge bonus, which was nice. What's going to be different is the currency that, that comes with that, right? It's going to vary over, uh, different pieces. Now, Man, we were told with this post on the second, hey, just wait, something's coming and you may want to postpone ending your raid, your Sith Triumvirate raid until the game updates and that way you get the best rewards possible. Now, here's the thing, a lot of people did that and we're sorely disappointed with what they got. I'm going to show a couple pictures of of what actually showed up. And these are these were given to me from my own guild. So this was given to me by uh, one of the guys from my guild, and I got to say thanks to him. Uh, this he came in third place in our raid, and this is what he got. Now looking at the first place in our raid and again this is a tier five this is in a tier six they got a fully crafted piece of gear they've got some really great salvage some really good stuff plus they got a ton and one thing that you know obviously the flatten rewards you're seeing the same pieces across all players so we're seeing some cuffs we're seeing we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot of really good salvage we're just not seeing a ton of it you know like we like we hope now again this is just a t5 raid this isn't a, a heroic so the heroic is going to going to be a lot more you're also going to be getting the treya shards as well the moment that these these rewards got posted so around noon my time people started going nuts uh she she came back tonight it was about uh i saw this at about eight um it was originally posted about 7 30. now in the short version of this post they go through they say hey look you know originally we had it as a tiered percentage it, it was like I, whatever it was it was like 20 percent chance to get a, a full piece and then 30 percent chance and so on and so forth it was tiered somehow they don't explain what that tier system is but they dropped that to a 40 percent chance to accommodate additional two slots of gear 12 gear that are coming in may so what does that mean you have a 40 percent chance every time that you do the sith heroic raid that you're going to be getting a full piece of gear that's pretty awesome right and that's flattened so that's everyone in your guild has a 40 percent chance of getting that gear or if one person in the guild gets the gear you all get the gear because again flattened that's what i believe they mean by flattened they do continue and they say hey look um we're doing this because of we're we're launching two additional pieces of gear 12 gear sometime in may 
and we feel confident that we can hit this date, we know that we're gonna hit this date, between now and then, there are definitely options for, for people to really build up their, their gear. Now, this, they're, they're gonna keep the rest of this the same. So, you know, the idea, the the, the raise in, in currency, the, the raise in some of the other things, and the droppage of the crap beer pieces from the possible rewards, those are staying the same. Those changes aren't changing back. The incentive to go through and do uh, heroic between now and then i've heard a lot of people say there is no incentive and i don't agree with that i think that there absolutely is incentive and they say here that if within the next two weeks you or your guild completes this heroic phase we will do a make good reward for you with with like a gift of two to four full pieces of gear so if you complete the heroic you'll get two full pieces. The longer version of this post goes in and, and really outlines and says, hey, look, the tiers, the the guild, the increase in guild currency and event tokens was never intended to offset the reduction of all the gear changes for top ranking players. But that's the way that we took it as a community or a lot of, a lot of players took it as a community. And they're saying, hey, look, we made a mistake. We did not mean for it to, to come off that way. But part of the reason why we're doing this, part of the reason why we're making this change is the player levels would become so lopsided for high end players that I think it would be, I think what they, what their point here is by doing this tier level, um, and by, by making these changes and by reduce, by giving an incentive or by giving additional currency, but not by necessarily giving a ton of extra gear, it's still going to be a grind. They're hoping that the grind makes the game, at least this is my, my, my take on it. They're hoping the grind makes the game that much more competitive. And I'm, I'm excited for that. I think that that's, that's the way that it should be done. They've also focused on this, this, this full piece pool, right? So the gear 12 piece is meant to have a wider array of potential drops. So it's not just one or two really des highly desired pieces. It's a lot of really highly desired pieces. And so the value of the, so the idea is that once you get those, those top gear players, once you get those top, top end the characters geared all the way, you're not just sitting on a bunch of pieces that, that you can't use. The idea is that you're getting a variety of pieces that you can develop a variety of different teams. It, it does, it does give me hope that, that, Hey, this is what we're doing. Now, there are three things that there, there's a few things that really give me that I, I like about this. And the first thing is they responded to this within eight hours. They're aware of this. They've responded pretty quickly. Then there are two things they say, thanks for your feedback during this rollout. Then on both of them, like in the long version, it says, thanks to everyone for your feedback and we'll see you on the hollow tables. Guys, negative feedback is never fun to hear, but it is something that you need to deliver. It is something that you need to be willing to say, hey, look, this is not what we thought. This is why we are upset. This is what we intended. What were your thoughts on this? What were you thinking, right? Not in an angry way, but in a, hey, this, this is our side of things. They need to hear that feedback. They love to hear that feedback. I will caution, be constructive, right? No one wants to say, hey, douchebag, you suck. No one wants to hear that. Be constructive when providing feedback. Like my audience, you guys, you guys are like, hey, Thaddeus, your audio sucks. And it has, I know. But you're like, you may want to try this. A number of you have actually reached out and said, hey, you may want to try this, this program, try this tool, look into this microphone. And I've ma made changes and believe it or not, my audio is a lot better than it used to be. And I'm still making changes. I'm still making adjustments, but I think that's what we need to do here. And the last piece of advice I have for this whole situation is when something like this happens, give it a day before you make any rash choices. Yeah, it can be frustrating. It really can, especially when you're told, hey, you know, great things gonna happen and it, it's not as great as you thought it was gonna be. Um, episode eight, case in point. But give it some time, let it work on you. You know, don't, don't overreact just initially. And that's a hard thing to do. With time, you will be satisfied with 
ultimately what it comes down to. This is a fun game. I really enjoy it. What do you guys think? How many of you were actually in the heroic ra uh, raid and were just hugely disappointed with the, re the re rewards? Um, leave a comment in the section below. Even if you didn't, weren't in the heroic raid, leave a comment in the section below with what you think. But leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.